Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and we continue to bring you the latest in ophthalmology and eye care, right here from Raleigh, North Carolina. In this episode, I'd like to explain to you the details about corneal transplantation when we use a full thickness corneal transplant, which is also called penetrating keratoplasty. This is when we remove the entire central part of the cornea from the patient's eye and then replace it with a new clear cornea from a donor. The donors are carefully screened for infectious diseases and any problems that could cause trouble with the transplant. After that, the donor corneas are harvested and preserved in preparation for transplantation. There are now a sufficient supply of donors so that we can schedule a cornea transplant whenever we wish to perform one without having a waiting list or having patients needing to wait for a donor to become available. This type of corneal transplantation is usually performed in people that have a cloudy or swollen cornea that is no longer clear. Once we replace this, then the patient can then have a clear cornea in order to improve their vision. Most of the time this is caused by swelling or a disease called keratoconus or from Fuchs dystrophy, which as we covered before, could also be treated with an inner layer corneal transplant or DSEC. Other reasons for a full thickness corneal transplant could be failure of a previous transplant, a scar or an ulcer in the clear area, or if patients have a viral disease that cause clouding of the cornea. Afterwards, patients need to use antibiotic drops for a short time after the surgery and then steroid drops for longer. These steroids help prevent rejection of the cornea to help keep it clear and survive. Corneal transplants are one of the most successful transplants throughout the human body and it depends on why the transplant was performed but after five years it can be around 80 percent of the transplants survive. In the cases where the transplant is rejected oftentimes this can be treated with steroids either drops or pills that can help decrease the episode of rejection and help the transplant to survive. Other cases, as the years go by, when there's no rejection, the corneas can fail on their own and may require repeat transplantation. Thanks again for joining us on A State of Sight. As always, if you have any questions or comments about corneal transplantation, please post on our Facebook. We'll be happy to interact with you there. Until next time, good health and good sight.